Hey there, econ students. Welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today, we're going to be going over the business cycle. Now, when it comes to some concepts in economics, the business cycle is not one of the more complicated ones. However, it's really important to understand macroeconomics. One of the things that we can see when looking at the business cycle is our real GDP and our time. Now, these are the two things that we'll be comparing. You can see we have real GDP here going up and time across the bottom. We're looking at what's going on with the economy. Now, the business cycle, just think of it like a roller coaster ride. You can see right here that it's going up and down. That's essentially it, back up. And it's a cycle it's going to repeat. Now, the big thing here is to understand what's happening. And to do that, we have to put a trend line in. This is looking at our overall kind of economic trend. You can see the trend line here. Now, the trend line is important because this is the direction of the economy. This is also going to be our full employment line. This is where economists would say that society is fully employed. So the business cycle is going to deal with unemployment. It's also going to deal with price levels and GDP and how long we're going to be in certain gaps and times. So all these things come together in this model. Now, in looking at the business cycle, it's important to understand the different phases of it and what's happening. One of the things we can see is that our first kind of phase is going to be this expansion period. The expansion period you can see on the chart right now. This is where we are seeing economic growth and where we are seeing the economy continue to grow and real GDP will be going up. One of the things that we can notice though is eventually we hit the peak. You can see the peaks on the top here. The peak is important because this is where all of a sudden we'll start to see a slowdown. This is the top and then from here on out we're going to be going down, just like a roller coaster. Now why would that happen though? There's a bunch of different reasons of why, but think of it actually kind of like your car. If you don't have enough coolant in your car and you're driving down the highway and you're speeding, eventually your car will start to overheat and you will have to slow down. And if you don't stop fast enough, eventually your car will break down and it's not going to work anymore. The same is true for the economy. One of the reasons this happens is because we have inflation. When looking at this, we can see our trend line. We can also see our expansion period and the peak. Anything that's in between that peak and then the trend line is an inflationary gap. What this means is we have inflation. So inflation is occurring, which is going to then slow down people's spending and eventually then bring our economy into a new stage, into a contraction or a recession period, where now you can see we're going to be going down. On the chart right there, you can see I've highlighted our recessionary time. This is where now we are decreasing. And eventually though, we bottom out again. Now this is known as the trough, the bottom point. You can see it on the chart right here. Now the trough is important because this is where we are going to stop declining and then we're going to see the kind of cycle continue and we'll have another expansion period. Now it's important to understand that the gap between where we have our trough and our trend line, that is going to be where we're going to have more unemployment and there's going to be a recessionary gap. So it's important to understand kind of what's happening with the chart. Now what we'll see is this cycle kind of continue to repeat. And overall, again, by following the trend line, we continue to increase in the long term. Now there's no set perfect time for how long a recession would last or a depression and it's kind of debated and other factors impact that. Like the government, a lot of times the government will come in and they will try to regulate it. The Federal Reserve, their goal is to try and regulate the economy to prevent inflation but also try to mitigate our recession time. So while it happens naturally, the government does try to play a role in it in trying to reduce it. It's important to understand the cycle and just understand what's happening because all these concepts are going to come up in macroeconomics. This video was a really quick look at the business cycle. Hopefully it helped you understand the basics. If it did, consider subscribing. It would help the channel out and that way too you can get notifications of when I post new videos. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you online.